Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, I wanted to uh, go over some changes that are happening uh, with the way MREs are being packaged. Now, you may have seen some of these changes are, are beginning to show up on our website, or at least have been for the last six months or so. Um, so, let me show you. These are MRE entrees and side dishes the way you're used to seeing them uh, in little boxes like this. Um, these boxes are being done away with. Uh, and part of this is really the military's uh, desire to be able to make everything more compact. And this is just extra packaging that they wanted to eliminate. So it takes up extra space as well. Anyway, in the original packaging, you would find the date code here. Uh, usually on the front of the box it says when this was produced. Sometimes they would put it down here on the end of the box. Okay, these boxes are going away, like I said, and what's happening is they're being replaced with a sleeve like this, where the entree is inside of a sleeve. Now, the sleeves are not marked with production date, but the entree itself on the inside is. So, here's an example. This one is beef stew. It still says that it's beef stew. It still, still says what the lot number is, um, but the outer sleeve doesn't say anything about that. We're also finding these um, arriving from different manufacturers a little bit differently as well. Um, this is an example of an entree that came from Ameriqual, and this has the production date down here, and then it's got a clear label over the top of the entree. Um, now, Ameriqual has also started doing this, where they're not using a clear label, they're using a paper label. On the back, you still see what the, what the item is, what the production date is, uh, but the paper label is being applied on the bumpy side so that it doesn't obscure the date. Okay, now unfortunately that means that sometimes these labels don't adhere really well and they can come loose. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we're not doing this. This is the way they're coming from the manufacturer now. Okay, we've also received some entrees from other companies like uh, Warnick that came like this with the name and the date on them, no labels, but they provided us a roll of labels like this and not sleeves. And then we would apply the label on here and uh, like so. Anyway, this is hard to do one-handed, but presto magico, that looks like the Ameriqual label. Um, so, also, um, Sapaco is making this change in their full meals as well. So this is a meal from uh, one of the cases of Sapaco uh, Sure Packs, and this one is one with heaters. And you can see it's a lot more compact than it used to be. Uh, you can also see that it's got the entree and the side dish in there. The side dish has the nutritional information printed on the pouch, and the entree has one of these sleeves inserted inside of the bag. So the entree is not actually even in the sleeve uh, like this. Okay, now this causes us a lot of extra labor, and you may see some price increases on some of the newer entrees because of the amount of extra labor that we have to go through to go through the boxes of entrees, go through the boxes of sleeves, insert the entrees into the sleeves, and then rebox them. And when they leave uh, our facility, they look like this, where the entree is inside of each pouch. However, it doesn't mean that in shipping that the entree may fall out of the sleeve. Okay, and so in your box you will certainly find the, the sleeve with all the nutritional information and ingredients and you will find the entree and the entree will say what it is and what the date is but there is a slight chance that those two will get separated but still be inside of your box so be sure that you take a look at that and again remember these are not changes that we've made uh, these are changes the manufacturers have made and it's uh, really been a requirement of the military to eliminate those boxes. Okay, so anyway, uh, just uh, thought I'd let you guys know about that and check out our website. You'll see that we do try to show the correct picture for uh, what we're going to be sending you. Uh, but occasionally we run out of entrees that have the labels and we have to use the sleeves and vice versa. 
Another thing I wanted to point out is that the sleeves have a crease on the bottom and that allows you to fold this up so that it's like a uh, McDonald's french fry container. Um, that's really so that you can still use the MRE heater and keep most of the heat in. So anyway, you'll see that crease at the bottom um, and just you just go ahead and flip one in and flip the other one over the top of that and it holds its shape pretty well. Okay, well, that's it for the Epicenter.com. I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that.